Good morning, Lieutenant Steve Gallagher. Um, this is a follow-up to a murder investigation that occurred uh, approximately 1.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. Uh, it happened at 21st and Main Street at the Shell gas station. Uh, Sheriff's Office responded to a shooting that occurred at 1.30 on Sunday morning. Uh, when they arrived, they found two victims uh, in a white SUV, uh, both of them suffering gunshot wounds. Uh, Jessica Daniel, a 25-year-old black female, was in the front passenger seat and was suffering from a gunshot wound to the head and was deceased. Uh, the driver was suffering from a gunshot wound to the leg, and he survived. Um, this horrendous crime was captured on video as well as committed in front of several patrons that were in the parking lot and inside the store. Uh, the video shows that the suspect who was driving a white Kia Soul pulled into the parking lot and parked at the pumps nearest the front door of the gas station. Uh, he exited the driver's side and went inside the store to purchase some items, uh, not gasoline, but just some items, came back out to the car and got in and was sitting there for a few minutes when the victims pulled up in their white SUV and basically parked at the front of the pumps, blocking in the suspect's vehicle. The, uh, uh, the passenger, Jessica Daniel, got out of the passenger side of the, the SUV and went inside the store to purchase some items. While she was in the store, the suspect exited his Kia Soul, walked up to the open passenger window of the, uh, the victim's vehicle and had words with him essentially telling him to move his vehicle. Uh, when, when he did, other vehicles had already pulled in and blocked in the victim's vehicle, so he told him he couldn't move. The suspect walked back to the Kia Soul and sat down in the driver's side. Uh, right after he sat down, Miss Daniel came outside, got in the passenger side of the victim's vehicle, uh, didn't know anything about what had just occurred. Uh, the video then shows the suspect exit the, the white Kia Soul armed with a rifle, uh, slowly walk around behind the back of the SUV, and he stands at the right rear passenger side, looks at the victim's vehicle, and then shoots multiple times at their vehicle. Uh, he then gets back in the Kia Soul and flees at a high rate of speed, uh, backing out of the parking lot and down 21st Street. Um, later that day, the sheriff's office provided the media with photos taken from the surveillance video. Um, that resulted in a Crime Stoppers tip that we received on the 31st. Uh, it was a tip that said that the suspect was a Lorenzo Austin. Uh, research into that name revealed a Lorenzo Alston, a 23-year-old black male who is currently wearing a uh, pretrial ankle monitoring device. Uh, he was recently released from a, another arrest that he had. Um, the GPS records confirmed that he was at the location at the scene of the crime at the time that it occurred. Um, Alston is also seen, when you look carefully at the video, uh, it is grainy and pixelated, but you can see what appears to be the monitor on his ankle when he is out in the parking lot armed with a rifle. Um, detectives obtained an arrest warrant for Alston, and last night he was arrested in the 1900 block of Thelma Street at a house. Um, he has been charged with murder, attempted murder, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and I can try to answer a few questions. He did, yeah. He could have backed away without even talking to the driver. And he had no relationship with the two victims? Uh, total strangers. So would this be kind of like a rage incident, just hung him in and then just... A horrible crime. Mm -hmm. Is this um, one of the, one of the um, instances where crime stoppers help? Because I know a lot of times when you call in, they're like, you know, people aren't coming forward, and now someone actually did. Yeah. This was a perfect example of the process working and how quick it works when people call in. Of course, there are at least one other individual that is seen on video in the suspect vehicle that we haven't made contact with or identified yet that uh, we would like to speak with to, to find out what they heard and what they saw that night. Um, and again, they can people can call Crime Stoppers or call us directly to give us that information. Matt with Joe for News. Was the firearm recovered uh, arrest, because it's an active, ongoing investigation, um, there are some things that I can't get into and in, in, in statements and evidence and things like that right now I, I can't release. Dan Scanlon, Times Union. Does Alston have any prior violent crime history? I'm only looking at a battery here on the, the release sheet. Uh, my understanding is the, uh, the case that he's out on uh, with the ankle monitor was a uh, domestic case where there was violence involved in that.
Um, the his, her history, I'm not, I'm not certain. Uh, but I believe he's got some his 